Welcome to the AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. Today I'm speaking with Tom Erickson of Acquia. Tom, welcome to the AWS Report. Great to be here, Jeff. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what Acquia does. Sure, uh, Acquia works with Drupal, which is the largest open source community in the world. Uh, Drupal is used to build websites effectively. It's a social publishing system that people use for publishing external communities or building main websites or uh, anything you might want to do in, in the web uh, space. Okay, now Drupal's really modular and really flexible, if I recall. Lots and lots of different controls and options and so forth. That's correct. There are, there are over 16,000 modules, in fact, for Drupal that the community have built over the years in addition to Drupal Core, and that gives it a lot of flexibility and, of course, a lot of potential for things to, to let's say, go wrong. And that's where Acquia comes in. We help people who are using Drupal to be successful with it and ensure that they're um, able to keep their websites you know, scaling and growing with the businesses. Okay, so what kind of customers are the, kind of the sweet spot for Acquia and Drupal usage? So um, there are over a million, in fact, almost two million websites built with Drupal around the world. Uh, they come in all varieties and shapes from small companies to large organizations. In fact, some of the largest organizations in the world use Drupal. LinkedIn and Twitter and eBay all use it for their developer communities. Uh, the White House and Department of Energy use it for their main websites. The Economist Magazine and Turner Sport use it for different sites. It was used for the recent uh, March Madness on Demand uh, that uh, Turner had. So all kinds of websites. And this is all hosted on AWS? Not all of these are. Um, then uh, when Acquia works with these customers and works with Drupal users, we use, uh, we use AWS okay. to provide a superior level of support for them. Mm -hmm. so. Now, are these generally steady state customers, or do they, can they take advantage of the fact that AWS can scale up and scale down? Well, in fact, of course, that's the, uh, the big you know, challenge for websites in general is that all you need is one simple mention in, in, a, in the press either or in another website, and your web traffic spikes. And that's the beautiful uh, advantage of AWS and the, and the cloud is we're able to take uh, advantage of that elasticity, not only uh, you know, on a planned basis, but on an unplanned basis. And does that happen to your customers? It happens to <laughs> not only our customers, but our prospects. So for example, we were working with a major international news agency and during the Egypt crisis, their English language blogs, which were being hosted on a conventional provider, uh, went down, they couldn't handle the traffic. They, they melted is the term that is used. And they called us up on a Wednesday at 8 a.m. in the morning. Uh, and we said, well, we can help you out. We've got a service on AWS. And by four o'clock that afternoon, we'd ported everything over and changed their addresses and, and repointed everyone in the world trying to get onto this uh, uh, media site to AWS. So you actually hosted the content you, you hosted the site on AWS and moved all the content over in the course of the, the single business day. In the course of single day, exactly. Impressive. Yeah. It's, um, we work with a number of customers like that. We work with uh, Warner Music as well. Warner Music uh, has several artists in their portfolio, some famous ones like Josh Groban. Uh, so joshgroban.com is, is on AWS. And uh, whenever Josh Groban announces a new concert, there's, of course, spikes in people trying to find out you know, where is it going to be and can I buy tickets and these types of things. So that's more of a planned spike. But uh, when, uh, when unexpected things happen, like an artist may you know, get into trouble or pass away, as that seems to happen in that industry, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's really beautiful to have the elastic cloud there, um, AWS, to help us. So you have these set up with the auto scaling so that they simply deploy additional resources as needed? We do. We have, uh, well, not only auto scaling, but we've built in some extra technology to get high availability as well. So we have fa um, automatic failovers and uh, automatic uh, load balancing that occurs. So we've taken a great platform in AWS and enhanced it substantially to ensure that uh, we get the highest levels of, of support and service possible. Okay. Now, are your customers primarily in the U.S., or do you have more of a diverse user base? Acquia is a global company. Drupal uh, was actually invented or started in Europe, and, uh, but Acquia started here in the U.S. Uh, today, we have about 2,000 customers all over the world, uh, operations in Europe and Australia. Um, we work with AWS uh, at all of your data centers, and in fact, some of our customers have instances that span data centers. We, we do multi-region failover for higher security. And we work with a number of uh, multinationals as well. Um, one major pharmaceutical that's actually going to be deploying uh, in the US as well as in Europe. In Europe, they're going to be deploying um, our SaaS platform, something called Drupal Gardens. It's an open SaaS platform for hosting hundreds and hundreds of, of websites that can be built out in a template uh, fashion 
but still uh, highly scalable, highly complex. So it's not simple sites. These are complex sites that, through the beauty of, uh, of the cloud, are able to, uh, to scale. So this would be multiple Drupal sites all running on the same, effectively, the AWS installation then? Exactly, hundreds. Hundreds, okay. Yes. So what kind of organization would typically find that model to be useful? Um, well, in this particular <clears throat> case, it's a pharmaceutical company, but we also work with uh, universities, uh, consumer packaged goods companies, con consumer brands. Uh, you can imagine some of the big names in that area. People who have lots and lots and lots of different products. Okay, so perhaps with consumer brands, they might have a microsite for each of the different product lines. And then in generally, they're all kind of moderate traffic, but occasionally one of them might spike up. For Actually, a uh, reason. you know, one of our customers got upset with us because we called them microsites. Um, and in fact, they're not moderate traffic sites. Some of these are very big traffic sites. Okay. Um, so it's, it's independent of that uh, variable. It's the, simply the fact that they need to roll out lots of them and that they have that uh, feature. They need a little so. production line effectively for, exactly. for rolling out websites. Yeah, okay. and then management of the code and the security. Uh, are all your customers commercial? Or are there other aspects to, to that as well? In fact, there are, there's a large uh, number of Drupal users around the world in government. In fact, 130 nations around the world use Drupal in their government uh, uh, operations. Uh, some of the most famous uh, websites, in fact, from the White House to the Department of Energy to the French government portal are Drupal users. Many of them work with Acquia as well. And so we're excited to be able to work with AWS's uh, GovCloud in being able to provide the levels of security and uh, reliability that they expect. Okay, are there any other things that we didn't cover? Do you want to make sure our audience knows about? Um, no, other than the fact that uh, you know, working with AWS has really been uh, great for a, a growing company like ours. We were named uh, one of the most promising companies by Forbes last year in the country. And a lot of it has to do with the flexibility that the platform that AWS uh, was able to provide for us right from when we started the company four years ago, where we didn't have to procure any servers just to do our own development, through to, of course, uh, some of the major brands that we've talked about and how they use Drupal on AWS today. Perfect. Tom, thanks for coming and speaking with us. I'm Jeff Barr, and this has been the AWS Report.